All right guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and today we're gonna to be unboxing and plugging in the new high-tech RDX One multi-charger. So you just got that new RTR vehicle and you wanna stop using one of these things. Everyone knows what this is. That's that dreaded wall charger. The wall charger that takes eight hours to charge your battery. Well, high tech has come to the rescue with a very affordable professional single port AC DC input multi-charger. Now this charger will do pretty much every chemistry on the market, the RDX one, um, including lithium polymer batteries. So that's pretty much the go-to batteries for lots of us RC enthusiasts. Lithium high voltage, which is a new line of batteries that actually has a little bit more than the typical 3.7 volts uh, per cell. Uh, life battery, a little bit different uh, battery, but still lithium, lithium lion, you have um, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, and of course PB or lead batteries. So it can pretty much do everything on the market. Now a quick tour around the box here, um, AC-DC. So this thing plugs straight into your uh, regular 110 or 120 volt wall outlet and you can basically get charging right from there. No extra power supplies are needed with this. Um, so 60 watt charge power, it's gonna cut your charge time completely down and get you out on the track, out in your backyard a lot faster. Over here on the, the back side here, gives you more of the specs here. You know, it does pretty much everything you'd want in an entry level professional grade charger. All right, so inside the box, you definitely get to the RDX one right here. Quite small, I actually, when I pulled it out of the box, it, it was a lot smaller than I expected. So um, over here, uh, three supplement items, you do get a charge lead that you will have to solder on your connector of choice. Now, if you're not uh, into soldering, you can have your local hobby shop do that just for a few bucks typically is what they'll charge you. Or you can just go onto a link down below I'll have in the video description and pick up your charge lead of choice. So uh, they're fairly inexpensive and they'll plug straight in with just a standard four millimeter banana plug. So uh, right here we do have a DC cord. So that's hooking up to a separate power supply. And then we do have a balance uh, board here. So this is a XH adapter or JST style uh, adapter board. So, um, but nice that they're including that inside the box. Right here is the owner's manual for the RDX one. So size wise on the RDX one, it is quite small. Like I said, the overall width of it is right under three inches. It stands at right about five inches and the overall depth is right about six inches. So quite a small little package to do everything you would need for your RC needs. Now, as far as some of the controls on right here, you do have a battery type and a stop, a decrease, increase the status, start, enter. You do have your balance port. You have a temperature sensor that's optional. You have your actual battery leads connection, uh, minus and plus, do not ever mix those two up. You do have a 2.1 amp USB charge port, which is pretty nice. So if you wanna charge a phone or an iPad, uh, you can definitely do that. And then you do have a USB link, uh, probably for a firmware update in the future. On the back side, pretty easy items. You do have a DC 11 to 18 volt out. You do have your AC in for 100 to 240 volts. It does come with a USA plug, at least my edition did. So you just have to have an adapter going from the USA plug to something else. And then also the fan port right there. And this thing is a little bit loud, but it's nice that it keeps everything nice and cool. So I went ahead and got everything all plugged in. I pl and plugged in the uh, included balance board. Now I did have a Dean's adapter uh, sitting here at the RC network. So I just plugged that in to make everything easy for this video. And then I plugged in one of my new Gen's Ace 5000 milliamp 2S LiPo batteries. So I came with Dean's connectors, so it was able to plug straight into the adapter I had here. Now, as far as when you plug in your high-tech RDX one, simple plug-in and you're able to get up and going immediately. So flashes on with the high-tech logo, you hear the fan come on, beep, 
and it immediately goes to the uh, programming select. So this does have 10 different programs that you can put in for, for different batteries you may have. Uh, so you can pre-select them just to make your charging a little bit easier. So right here on number one, I have it set for lithium polymer for 2S and it is automatically down to two amps. So being that this is a 5,000 milliamp, I can raise that up to five amps with no issue whatsoever. Now, as far as the menu system right here, as I zoom in, uh, it's pretty easy. It just has four buttons and it kind of goes through. Now getting used to it is a little bit uh, difficult. Uh, once you go down, you can kind of scroll through here and choose different um, batteries that are available, either lithium high voltage, life, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, all sorts of ones. Down here to battery cells 2S, that's what this is. Uh, battery mode is charged. Now what's really cool about this charger is it has several different modes. So right here we're looking at charge, it has a setting for fast charge, uh, storage, discharge, and balance. Now balance just basically means it's gonna balance all the cells in your battery. So I'm not actually gonna charge it. Down here, we're going to go all the way back up to charge and enter that. Now, as far as the amp amperage, I'm gonna set it for 5.0 because this is a 5,000 milliamp. So we're gonna click that enter button. There we go, enter that in. Uh, D current is set for off, which is fine. Target voltage, 4.2 volts. That's what you want for regular lithium polymer batteries. Lithium high voltage, you would change that to whatever the existing specs on your battery is. On down here, cut voltage is off. We're all set to go. So what do we do now? Let's start this thing up. Hitting the start button, holding it down. We're gonna hit it one more time to start it to confirm what we're doing. Immediately gives you a reading of the current voltage, so 7.6 seven volts. Current is at uh, 1.30 amp and going. There's the time allotment right there, so pretty cool. So when you're in the actual charge mode, you can actually scroll over to see the different voltages of your cells just by hitting the start enter button once. That'll click over to the battery meter right here. It's saying 7.77 volts, 58% charged. My two cells on this 2S battery is 3.89, 3.88, and it just gives you uh, all the different specs down here. So the highest point it was, the lowest point it was. So uh, pretty nice that it's all included in that one package. You can monitor uh, your cells uh, very nicely. So right here, it's fluctuating right now between 4.99 amps. So it's keeping that five amp mark just to reduce the charge time down. Well guys, that is my first look and first use of the new high-tech RDX One. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, maybe learned a couple of things. Maybe I've made your decision up for a new charger for your new RTR vehicle. This is definitely one to get, very affordable, does everything you would imagine and I like it, definitely. So, well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over now.